right, we're doing a wear test. I've had it on a couple minutes. This is what we're wear testing. I lost it. I lost it in the chaos of makeup. So I'm already going to have this on. It's already on my skin. It's looking spicy. Don't have concealer on. Um, didn't want to finish everything because I just don't like to finish things before I finish my eyes. So that's why I don't have concealer here in case we have any eyeshadow fallout. Shall we do something fun? I want to look like a butterfly today. Mm. Butterfly. Butterfly. I am going to be a butterfly. First things first, a little bit of a skin tone primer here. This is the Gerard Clean Canvas in the shade Fair. We're just going to work this in. I might be using some of those Beauty Creation Spaces. I'm not sure yet what color we're going for, but let's just kind of coat our crease up to our brow bone. All right, so we're grabbing this. This is brand new from Natasha Denona. When I tell you, I squealed a little when I saw this. I squealed. So this is the Circle Loco palette. And to a lot of you, this might look a little intimidating. I assure you it is not. It is that pop of color that our collection needs. So I'm gonna take this on a tiny little brush, that nice, dusty, blue purple. That pigment. Oh, goodness, I am so excited to create with this palette. So I don't know what the heck I'm doing or where this is gonna go. But like I said, we need to be an extra shiny, spicy butterfly. So let's just kind of keep packing this back and forth. So notice that I've only went in twice and this color just keeps going and going and going. Also throughout this, I'm going to leave this eye bare. I'm doing a TikTok. Renegade. <laughs> let's go ahead and connect it. I'm using that same shade. Um, I want to do a different shape than what I did yesterday. So we'll just kind of connect it here. Notice that I left my eye open first just to kind of connect it. And then we'll shut and make sure we're pressing into any of the eye creases, the natural eye creases, I should say. I'm going to grab this pretty shade here. You knew I was. And I'm grabbing this on a Scott Barn 61. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of tapping back and forth. Just kind of bring it to about right there. And I'm really pressing this into the base. And that's gonna kind of blend with that dark blue purple shade we got going on. Woo! I'm gonna grab this pretty shade here. You knew I was. And I'm grabbing this on a Scott Barn 61. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of tapping back and forth. Just kind of bring it to about right there. And I'm really pressing this into the base. And that's gonna kind of blend with that dark blue purple shade we got going on. Woo! So I don't wanna overcomplicate the top part. Let's just kind of leave it at that. But I swatched this color. So let's grab this Beauty Creations base here and look at this. We're only going to use that much. Just a, just a little whisper of that. In fact, I might take some of that down before I am. I'm going to grab just a concealer brush. And Oh no, that's going to be plenty. That's perfect. And we'll just kind of come through here and ever so lightly carve this out. This is going to be the spice that I needed today. And then for hooded eyes, notice that how my eye is folding right here. You can see that I took that blue base right outside of that. If you need to tilt your head back just to kind of keep doing that and see where you're at. But this is such a good indication for hooded eyes. You can see that fold, but I'm kind of just taking it right over that fold. I'm just, con just kind of following that. So here I have the blue color and I'm just gonna tap that through here. What did we do to, de to deserve this blue? Look at that. I'm a butterfly. I'm going to go flutter and make a coffee. I just grabbed a little bit smaller brush just to kind of push that same blue right to the edge here.
some added pizzazz. I don't know why I'm screaming. I'm excited. I'm going to grab this shade right here. And I just switched my brushes. So I'm going to pop this through here. Mm -hmm. And then with whatever's left, let's just kind of pop a little bit right through the center. Just so it kind of really brings that lid forward. Now I'm going to grab this Mario pencil. This one's in the shade Rich Blue. And I just kind of ran this back and forth. While Douglas tells us things. Douglas, what do you need? What is it? Let's just go ahead and do our top water line as well. I'm also going to take that same Mario pencil and run it across my bottom water line. Alright, we have some micellar water here. And then let's really clean this up underneath here so it really looks like a wing. By the way, this is my inspo here, is blue butterflies. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab the same lash that I wore yesterday. I really like them. And I'll just kind of pop that on. There we go. Jazzy insists that I hold her at the moment. I'm sure most of you hardly even have ever seen Jazzy. She's reclusive. Since I'm doing a wear test on the foundation, I'm only going to use a very small amount of my concealer. I don't really want it to mix too heavily in to the foundation, so we'll just do a little bit there. I'm going to have to finish this one in a minute. There's my concealer brush. Everything is way too convenient at the moment. I feel that it's all going to come crashing down momentarily. That should do. I'm trying to keep it pretty focused around here. And then this is my Anissa Beauty Angle Concealer Brush. And then we connect. I'm gonna grab my Lorac powder. This is a pink powder. It's in the shade Soft Rose. There's my puff. Grab my little puffy. Even that out. And just go ahead and set. All right, I'm gonna go film the little TikTok. Don't ask. Don't ask. I'll be right back. Back. So for my lid, just kind of through here, I added the Smith & Colt Glitter Baby Shadow. Mm -hmm. A little bit extra blinky goodness. And for this, this was super simple. I just kind of extended it. Um, I used this brush here and I went in with the turquoise. So the shade that we kind of tapped through here, I just took it right through here. And then I just grabbed our Scott Barnes the 60 that we were using the dark color and I just kind of defined the very top just to kind of look like a butterfly. Now I'm working on lips and I'm using my Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Wherever Walnut. Then we'll grab this NARS Air Matte Lip Color. Just kind of place it through the center and then I tap. These have a really cool texture. Um, they do transfer, but only for a second. If you were to dab this with, with a um, tissue, you could turn this more into a lip stain. These pretty earrings here, these are from La Lucha Care. Aren't they pretty? So pretty. Um, I am now a butterfly. I am off to flutter around, honestly. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna go finish laundry, make some more coffee. I have to wear this makeup for at least six hours. I'm doing a six hour wear test. You guys said that that's good enough for y'all. Um, six hours is good for me because it's kind of right when I start to post and I like to wash my face while I sit there and I answer everyone. So six hours is good for me. So far, so good. Okay. I'm really liking it. So I just kind of sit underneath my eyes and I use the Lorac just to set a few places. So I didn't use a lot of powder and I used, you guys saw how much concealer I used. In fact, whatever was left in my brush from here is what I used kind of just through here. So I'm really wanting this to just be the star of the show and I really want to see how it wears. So I'm super excited for the wear test. Um, I'm probably gonna post that tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm gonna go sit and study the wear. 